Good morning, this is Aramel Magkalas, your subject teacher for Information and Communication Technology, Computer Hardware, Servicing 9. For today's lesson, it is all about basic computer configuration setup. What I need to know. After going through this module, you are expected to learn about Number 1 is the basic input system. Number 2, basic output system. And last is the device drivers. Basic computer configuration setup. Configuration. Configuration is the way a system is set up or the assortment of components that make up the system. Configuration can refer to either hardware or software or the combination of both. Basic input or output system or the BIOS. The basic input output system usually referred to us as BIOS. BIOS is a software stored on a small memory chip on the motherboard. BIOS instructs the computer on how to perform a number of basic functions such as booting and keyboard control. BIOS is also used to identify and configure the hardware in a computer such as the hardware drive, optical drive, CPU, memory, and others. The BIOS is accessed and configured through the BIOS Setup Utility. The BIOS Setup Utility is for all reasonable purposes, the BIOS itself. All available options in BIOS are configurable via the BIOS Setup Utility. The BIOS Setup Utility is accessed in various ways depending on your computer or motherboard make and model. BIOS access and configuration of PC systems is independent of any operating system because the BIOS is part of the motherboard hardware. It doesn't matter if a computer is running Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP, Linux, Unix, or no operating system at all. BIOS functions outside of the operating system environment and is no way dependent upon it. BIOS contain a number of hardware configuration options that can be changed through the setup utility. Saving these changes and restarting the computer applies the changes to the BIOS and alters the way BIOS instructs the hardware to function. The following list shows the things you can do in most BIOS systems. Device Drivers Now that you are successfully installed the operating system, you'll need to configure the device such as video cards, network interface cards, sound cards, and others by installing the device drivers of each. In many cases, if Windows recognize the device, drivers will be installed automatically. In some cases, generic drivers are installed so that the devices will work properly. Drivers Drivers are small software programs that help the operating system use or drive the device. The procedures listed below describe how to obtain and install drivers for hardware devices on a Microsoft Windows 2000 based computer. Step 1. Determine the hardware manufacturer. If you do not know the manufacturer of the device for which you want to install the driver, follow these steps to determine the manufacturer. Number 1. On the desktop, Right-click My Computer and then click Manage. 
Number 2, under System Tools, click Device Manager. Number 3, in the right pane, expand the category of the device that you want to configure. For example, expand display adapters. Number 4, right-click the device for which you want to install the driver. And then click Properties. Number 5, click the General tab. Make a note of the manufacturer and model of the device. Plus, click Cancel and then quit Computer Management. Please be noted that if the device is not displayed in the Device Manager or the device is listed as an unknown device, contact the computer or device manufacturer to obtain more information about the device. Step 2. Obtain the driver. To obtain the latest driver, use the following list of possible sources for the driver in the order in which they are presented. Original Computer Manufacturer If the device was installed by your computer manufacturer, contact the manufacturer of your computer to find out how to obtain download and install the latest drivers for the device. Device Manufacturer Contact the manufacturer of the device to inquire about how to obtain, download, and install the latest drivers for the device. Chipset Manufacturer Contact the chipset manufacturer of the device to find out how to obtain Download and install the latest drivers for the device. It is best to first contact the manufacturer of the device for the drivers before you contact the chipset manufacturer. Some examples of chipset manufacturers NVIDIA PCTEL Incorporated Installation CD or floppy disk If you have the original driver CD or floppy disk that were included with the computer or device and if no other sources of the drivers is available, choose the original driver that is included with the computer or device. Please be noted, whenever possible, try to first contact the original equipment manufacturer or the OEM, device manufacturer, or chipset manufacturer to obtain the latest version of the driver. Step 3. Install the driver. The driver files that you download from the OEM, device manufacturer, or chipset manufacturer differ depending on how the driver is packaged by the manufacturer. If the file is an executable program, run the program to extract the files. If the file is in zip format, you can use a third-party utility such as WinZip to extract the files. For more information about how to extract the driver files, see the instructions that are provided by the manufacturer of the driver. The driver may use a setup program. The driver package may contain raw driver files or it may contain only raw driver files. Some example includes .inf file and .sys files. To install the driver, use one of the following methods as appropriate to your situation. Driver with a setup or installation program. If the driver uses a setup or installation program, run the program to install the driver. For more information about how to do this, see the documentation or contact the driver manufacturer. Next, if the device is displayed in Device Manager.
plus where the device is not displayed in the device manager. For your quiz, answer the following. Thank you for listening. This has been Sir O. 